Mmm, do the food dance. Okay, so I have been seeing those viral frozen yogurt bites covered in chocolate. I've been seeing them everywhere and now I'm craving them. But I wanna make peanut butter ones, like yogurt peanut butter. I have made, I believe, yogurt peanut butter uh, frozen bites years ago on this channel in like a kid's snack video. And that, those are absolutely delicious and cover them in chocolate sounds like a dream so that is what we are doing i have some chocolate chips that will be later though i guess i don't need to have those out i have a toy that is a seahorse and my name is sydney yep so i have my assistant sydney here so i only have this little thing of yogurt because i really wasn't planning on making I'm these sure. um but this is greek vanilla and then i'm gonna add peanut butter to it mix them up freeze them for a little while they're good. All right, so the first thing we're gonna use all of this. What is this? Vanilla yogurt? Yeah. I'm gonna get you. You wasted so much. What do you mean wasted? We're gonna use it all. Well, we need some for yogurt parfaits and other stuff that we need some for yogurt parfaits and other stuff. She loves her yogurt parfaits. Okay. So scoop that all into the bowl. That looks like a white chocolate chip. It does. A huge one. And the horsey's big, 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 big kiss. Oh, this one is just ready to be ripe. It is? Yeah, it's so squishy. Maybe later can I have it? It's so squishy. Whoa. Yeah? Yeah, you can have that later. Yay! Is the other one squishy too? No. I'm just gonna add, I don't know, a heaping tablespoon. Okay. You gotta mix, mix, mix. It smells good. It smells. It smells like 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 Carol's chocolate, like a like a fudge, like the thing. It does. If I were a grown up, I would use the whole. I would use the whole. Yogurt of of the dose to make a huge big one. Make a one big one. Mm-hmm. Alright, I am gonna go ahead and pop these in my deep freezer. People have been making them really thick, so I'm hoping these aren't too thin. But popping them in the freezer, we shall see. Hopefully they come out. So the yogurt is all frozen already. So I'm gonna go ahead and melt some chocolate chips. And I heard a tip is to let them kind of come back up to room temperature so they're not so hot after melting. And that way your yogurt, you can dip it easy, more easy. We will try. Oh, that might be too much. I don't know. I never know how much to do. So I have microwaved them and melted, but because I'm using melt chocolate, I feel like it's always too thick to dip. I am going to reluctantly add just a little bit of oil to try to thin this out so it's easier to coat. I'm also gonna chop up some peanuts to sprinkle on top. I think I saw someone on Pinterest do this and I happen to have peanuts. So why not add a little crunch? I don't have enough chocolate for these ones. So these are gonna be like half dipped. All right, these really need to be frozen a little more, but I think it's fine. Okay, ready? We'll do cheers. Okay. Eat it. I'm not waiting at all. Mmm. Did you try it? Yeah. 
good. It looks like an Oreo inside. It really needs to be frozen so the chocolate has like that hard shell, but. Mm -mm. Mm, do the food dance. Yum. So this next project, I actually filmed a reel for Instagram, but unfortunately I used command hooks that had been in my garage for probably years and the sticky part had almost completely like gone away. And so it fell off the wall, unfortunately. But fortunately for me, I was able to film it for you guys on YouTube who do not follow over on Instagram. So we recently received a ton of dress up clothes, hand-me-downs from family and friends, and they are just in a giant pile on the floor because we didn't, I didn't have a spot for them. I was getting sick of it this one day. Uh, it was a rainy like Saturday, Sunday when I did this, and I found this accordion style rack in store. I got it off Amazon years ago and for some reason I never used it. I think I was going to use it in my closet and then decided not to. So I went ahead and rehung this, uh, putting holes in my wall, which I didn't want to do, but I have these hooks that are so insanely easy to, you just nail like a little nail, um, but they're pretty sturdy as well. So I went ahead and hung up this rack and in order to make sure that the, uh, dress up clothes do not fall off of the pegs. I put the clear elastics around them just to give it a little bit of grip and these worked out wonderfully. So I'm able to hang up Sydney's dress up clothes. It kind of looks cute. It's like a little dress up station. They're off the floor and it makes me, it just makes me happy. <laughs> I was also putting laundry away in Sydney's bedroom and just totally was sick of this wall with stuffed animals, blankets, clothes, toys, like random things thrown over here. And so I wanted to go ahead and organize it. And we also still have uh, Sydney's old Ikea kids table in our playroom and she already has a table in her playroom so it really doesn't need to be there. I decided to go ahead and put this in her bedroom just I don't know uh, she can sit in here she can do artwork she can do whatever she wants in it. Honestly I was gonna get rid of it but she's still at the age where sometimes she has friends over and they all need seats um, so I went ahead and just spruced up decluttered this section of her room. So in the mix of me kind of decluttering, I found these in store storage. I've had these forever and they were $1 from Target in like the dollar spot years ago. I just have never hung them. I have three and these are going to be perfect for hanging uh, Sydney's like drawings. 
and artwork. I just didn't know where I wanted to put them. I think we've decided or Sydney decided right here on this half wall. I'm embarrassed to say that I still haven't painted this, but I do have the paint in a closet. I just have not gotten around to it. Is that gonna be good, honey? And then hang her art. Can you hold this for me just flat right here? Can you reach? I should, um, I just wanna see. Is that where you want them or do we think we should put them like on a different wall, like over there? Okay, where? You want them over there? Yeah. That might be better, actually. Okay, this was never gonna be the permanent spot for it, but that's where it's lived. I was gonna put a shelf, still am. <laughs> Eventually, I'm gonna put a shelf above that. And then these were just already here, and that's why I hung it here. These were already from a previous sign, mirror, or shelf, or something, whatever I had there. All right, so you think maybe on this wall? Yeah. All right, I agree. Unfortunately, I cannot find my power drill battery. I found the charger and the drill, but the battery is not in there, so, and I'm too impatient to look for it any more than I already have. I have a stud finder, whoops, um, whoops. some nails, a screwdriver, hammer, and then some screws. I think I'm just gonna try to use nails, though, and find a stud or something, because these aren't very heavy. I don't like making holes in my wall. <laughs> oh, and I have a measure, tape measures, because I wish there was only one hook, but there's two, and you have to measure precisely. If you guys know what you're doing, look away for this next bit. Ah. Wait, I'm... I brought Lily. Lily. And I just brought the butterfly. Okay. <laughs> Next step on the to-do list was decluttering my refrigerator because it was a trash night and my fridge was pretty full and I fully knew that there were tons of leftovers that were not being touched or about to expire that I needed to clean out. So love doing this. I, I try to do it at least once a week. This time it had clearly been probably two weeks.
I truly try not to waste food, but sometimes it just happens and gets away from me. So decluttering and staying on top of that is a huge goal of mine. So I was just loading the dishwasher with all of the containers that I emptied and that is going to do it for my get it all done, tackle my to-do list with me. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, got some motivation. Um, and if you guys want to see more home decor, little projects here and there, then definitely let me know. I'll talk to you guys in the next one, which should be my summer dinners. What's for dinner? So see you guys then.